Hey students, no teachers show you how to do this really fast and easy. It's called the secrets cross multiplying, but a lot of students don't understand how to cross multiply. So let me tell you something about the cross multiplying. Cross multiplying, cross means you're crossing to the other side of the equal sign, and then you get multiplied. Now the secret is if you're cross the equal sign, if you're on top, you go to the bottom. So you get multiplied into the bottom when you cross the equal sign. If you're on the bottom and you cross the equal sign, you have to get multiplied to the top. So how does that work? Let's go to the first question. And trust me, if you learn how to do this, lots of things become easier in math. So here, this eight, it's on top because all of this is on top of one. So if this eight crosses, then it has to cross and go to the bottom. And so cross multiply it to the bottom then you're isolating the x already and you have two, eight times three is 24. And then of course you need to simplify this by reducing and that gives you one over 12. That's how easy it is. Now let's go to the next one, cross multiplying. So the four we need it to cross because we wanna isolate the x. So the four when it crosses, it's on the bottom, it goes to the top. So it's, what's gonna do, it's gonna cross to the top because that's on top of one, five is on top of one and it gets multiplied. So therefore X equals 20 because four times five is 20. Now, how about here? Here you have the two over three with the X and we wanna isolate the X. So both of these have to cross. So therefore X is isolated now. The three gets cross, the crosses and goes to the top. Three times one is three and two crosses goes to the five. So two times five is 10. Now my last question, can we cross multiply right away? No, you can't. Change this to improper fraction first, and then you could cross multiply. So changing to improper fraction, you go one times two is two, plus one is three. So this gives you three over two equals two X. Now, can we cross multiply when the X is on the, is on the right hand side of the equal sign? Of course you could do that. So now the two is on top because everything is on top of one. So if it crosses, it goes to the bottom. So it's going to go right there. It's multiplied, of course, cross multiply. So you got to get three over four equals X. And this is how simple it is. Last sentence when they have these kind of questions, but here they get stuck. What, what do we multiply everything by? Do we divide everything by eight? If we divide everything by eight, do I put everything here over eight? And then they get stuck. Learn this, trust me, it will save you a lot of time. It makes algebra a lot easier that, than what you've been taught in school. Enjoy this method, use it. It will help you a great deal from grade seven all the way to grade 12. And I bet you even some students in grade 12 are not able to do this. So check it out.